Good day. I am Norman Thompson, and on behalf of Kyle Urfsoy and Drs. Bates and Winkler, we appreciate the opportunity to present our work regarding improving training and competency for radiographic detection of retained surgical items at the 2002 ACR Quality and Safety Conference. In background, retained surgical items is any retained surgical device or invasive procedure device that is unintentionally left inside a patient's body. These carry a high morbidity and mortality risk and are a significant medical legal issue. They are a never event, according to the Joint Commission. Our aim as part of a larger improvement and overhaul of prevention of retained surgical items across the institution was to improve the appreciation and understanding of best imaging and reporting practices for detecting RSIs by radiologists. To implement this, we developed lectures that were delivered and recorded by Review on Learners that addressed surgical item identification, the knowledge of the risks of RSIs, and the new enterprise RSA policy and best practices. Case-based modules were also created and distributed to reinforce the content, and a competency test was designed and administered to learners to provide evidence of retention of knowledge and best practices. Here's an example of a very challenging RSI imaging case. Complex surgery, multiple surgical teams, large number of retained surgical devices. The challenge is to identify the unintended retained device. Can you find it? Here it is. This little small spring is the only radiopaque component of a plastic vascular clamp. And this highlights another opportunity for improvement in that any device that might potentially be left inside a patient, if possible, should be made as radiopaque as possible. It would be helpful to add a radiopaque marker to the plastic. Our results, when we reviewed the competency test outcomes, there's no statistical difference between faculty and resident learners. The average score for both groups was 95% and all learners scored greater than or equal to 80% on the initial competency testings. Since implementing the new policy and the training, we've had no imaging-related RSI cases or near misses in the 15 months since the process was revised. In conclusion, it is relatively straightforward to train radiologists to better appreciate the impact of RSIs, better identify RSIs, and better communicate the finding of RSIs to surgical teams. Future work in this domain includes designing online lectures and education modules and tests that would be easier to administer and easier to access with an online module. This is a ripe topic for machine learning or AI tools. Key references, I would first direct you to the first reference from the University of Michigan team, an outstanding PowerPoint presentation regarding history, retained surgical item risks, and imaging and best practices with a very exhaustive reference list, and then we also developed an internal case module for review. In summary, thank you for the opportunity to present our material. If there are any questions or comments, please reach out to me. Everyone, have a good day.